we don't have a question. Our audience have questions. Ooh. Turning to a common theme now. Right. However, we got submitted Gandhi questions. Define Gandhi. Mum, I'm sorry. That's all I'm going to say. If you want to tune out, now is the time to tune out. Bloody hell. Okay. okay. Gardas on. May, okay, wait, I'm just going to say this before we start. Guys, I haven't had any of these questions. So I'm not prepared. These are real yeah, reactions. But maybe... Okay, I'm going to give maybe, you... No, I'm maybe gonna come do, ease into it. I'm going to do some quick fire. Okay? No, ease into it though. This is quick fire. But I'm gonna, don't do hardcore straight away. Yeah, obviously. All right, go I'll on. do quick fire. Is Why it? are men trash? What do I have to do? Answer that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't agree with I said quick fire. <laughs> I don't agree. Men aren't trash. Why are men trash? I'm not trash. You're not trash. Men, trash. <laughs> men are not trash. Yeah. That's why it's men, men, are not men, trash. men are not trash. Why are men not trash? It's just a weird statement. Who's saying men are trash? Who has said that? Uh, who, who, who has said that? Women in their 20s slash 30s that have been messed around by Well, guys. they haven't met you and me, have they? So, you know, you're just, you're stereotyping Yeah, there. but you know, some guys are. Yeah, but I can't, but I, a lot of my Actually, none of my friends are like that, so I can't... I don't know, man. People be creeping. You never know. People be creeping. Okay. It's true. People have been creeping. Or maybe yeah. they were creepers. Creepers, maybe. maybe. Come on, man. Um, it's a real thing. We know friends that have creeped. My men are trash. There's just a lot more accessibility to things nowadays. I think that's what it is. Acha. There's a lot more... I did a video about this yesterday about addiction. <coughs> right? I looked up the uh, meaning, definition addiction of addiction. Different right? ladies. Right, no, but the definition of addiction, I was talking about in the context of social media but most of the time we think about it in terms of drugs. Mm. But yes, in this context, it was something like the persistent urge for, for certain, certain behaviours. So that's mm. what it is, right? It's, mm. it's just, it's totally available. That's the problem. Mm. Okay. Okay, fine. So are you going to answer these questions as well or no? No, this is all for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are men thirsty for ladies? Oh my. <laughs> that's basically the same question. <laughs> Why is it? Okay, can you just help me understand the question? Why is that the... Because it felt like the, the undertone to question one about trash. Is By about, the way, this is from one half of the Bain Saint Day podcast. No, I know which half it's from as well. From Gutterman. <laughs> right. That's not, not really. <laughs> That's Gutterman. Oh, I thought I haven't I'm taken you to Umbrits yet. Okay. Oh, wow. This is the light one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, no, but the trash question felt like the undertone was guys messing about, which is the same as that question there. No, but why? No, it's different. It's different. Tell me why the are men question. trash right. is, is asking, is, why do they cheat? is a woman saying, why what? do men mess cheat. a lot of people around? Cheat. Not cheating. No, but that's just, just like taking them on the go, in it. Cheating, like, man. That's it. Or that's just it, yeah. ghosting, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all that kind of stuff. And this is asking why they're so horny. And this is saying why they're so horny, yeah. You know, the best answer I've seen on this is from Eddie Murphy's Raw, which is from the 1980s. Okay. Right. Now, remember, when you watch Raw when you're young, you don't really appreciate it until you get older. Yes. So now when I look back through the lens, I'm like, what he's saying is absolutely correct. He basically says, it doesn't matter how fit your woman is. Mm. Right, he goes. There could be fire coming out of downstairs. Right, that's what he, that's what he <laughs> yeah, says. Yeah. Right, he goes. He could do magic tricks. Bro, I could talk to you. All this <laughs> stuff. He yeah. goes. Men will get complacent and bored, and therefore want new excitement. It all comes down to excitement. He says the reason why men cheat is because it's not they, they don't actually want to cheat. Why do men flirt with other women? Because they want to. Partly they want to know they can they can still do it and they've still got it or whatever. But it's the feeling of I could do this rather than actually doing it. Mm. Right? So it's excitement. That's why men are so thingy. They just need new excitement. They need they get too complacent. Well then go and get excited in some other part of your life, man. Don't be getting excited in new Janania. Go and get excited in like I don't know, a new Sports hobby. And hobby. Yeah, a yeah, new hobby absolutely. or a new skill. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. That or turn it into something monetary. That's, that's exciting. That sexual right. energy or tension that's built up has to be exerted somewhere. Mm. Right? So yes, sports is a really, really good example of that. So yes, exert it somewhere else. So why Don't do be this? exerting it perving over these girls in gym. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 with these special chitra pants. Yeah, and then that India those, has designed those chitra in fashion. Pant, chitra pants be lying to you, I'm telling you. He knows. He designed them. I did not design them. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You know what's interesting? Because so both uh, uh, Karim and Amit are younger than us, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. That term. They're not. It, they're not that that much younger. You know. You know they're but, not. Okay, I don't know about you, but thirsty was not a term that no, I would thirsty's use. Thirsty's common now, man. No, but I've no, I don't. Use okay, it. so all these hi hi, what ban the car, please? <laughs> I didn't know it's not. <laughs> My God, deadly sin there. Go and do a deadly sin. He can't even flip and reach it. Oh my days! Look at this. He's struggling to cradle around. It's done. It's fine. I think so. It's fine. Yeah, hi, hi. I, I don't use that term. 
Okay. Like I would, I would say thirsty. Why is someone? Why is he so hang on, hang on. horny or dung? Thirsty. Yeah. It's common because because when you see ladies posting those images on social media, yeah, with you know just yeah, showing all yeah, that, yeah. those are called thirst traps. You know where I learned that? Get the. I'm at, I saw I saw your video, mate, <laughs> with the tile, and I was like, Aki, what was it called? Trap. Yeah. Something trap. trapping something it. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. First, I thought because I know in the I had a guy who makes fresh food and he used to call them trap boxes mm. and I thought it was something to do with that so I, clicked on, <laughs> I clicked on your video I was like this is not about food man <laughs> this is about something else it's not else. what I thought it was this is not so yeah I learned that term thank you guys thirst yeah, traps that's what they are man thirst traps yeah okay because they want the attention I'm learning new things yeah. there you go thirst traps uh, I think they're thirsty because they're bored in their life that's genuinely it I think, I think if you Boredom. genuinely have time mm. to go out there and cheat on your missus I think you've got too much time in your hands and you need to go and apply that time somewhere else doing something mm. more productive. Because right time, now... Time is one thing. Adventure. Right now, I, I don't think... I think if you, if you have a busy and fulfilled life, you ain't got time for that. Adventure. Personally. Adventure, I think, is a big part of it. Adventure. You know, like... Oh, it's the, um, it's you the know, excitement, like, isn't it? You know how like how you feel before... It's the, it's the rush. You perform on TBS stage. That's nerves. No, no, but it's exciting, man. It's like, oh, shit, my heart is racing. I don't know what's going to happen. It's the adrenaline. Level. I don't think it's even the, the, will I get caught? People don't think about that. Yeah, they it's, do. People get a rush out of thinking they're maybe. about to get caught, man. Okay, maybe, maybe it's that thing. Maybe that's part of it as well. Mm. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you for that question. Just, just to give a preface to this, guys. So, I was expecting to be more like deep and meaningful questions, right? Like, you know. About, well, blame the audience. No one else sent anything. Well, Otherwise, okay, I would have filled yeah. these out. Okay. Dang, dang, <laughs> Thank you for watching and sending us these questions. Go. Ready? There's more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Opinions on male lingerie. Is it worth it or not? Male lingerie? This Amrit's um, question? That's much more tame than the first two. No, it's not. That is. Right. Male lingerie. I didn't know that. That's is. the tamest one out of his four questions. I'm right. not going to answer. ask you all of them. What? You might as well. You're never going to get a chance again. <laughs> <laughs> what is male laundry? What is male laundry? Lingerie. lingerie. Yes, laundry. But male what? laundry. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> male lingerie what is it um i'm assuming bdsm stuff assuming oh, okay because in my head i was thinking like maybe like a sexy kacha or something i don't know like a g-string type kacha could for be man. could be i don't know um Someone so what was, question what, was, what, was, what was the question what is your opinions on male lingerie is it worth it or not personally just wear your ladies isn't it, if you're gonna do that I think wear her it, kachia, it's fine i think if you look from the ladies perspective on this one because it's for them isn't it you're not doing it for yourself yeah, ask them if they like it. It's going to come off anyway. Yeah, but you could say that about anything for the ladies, but it sells, it sells a hell of a lot more. Yeah. Okay. But is that to appease the bunda? Or is that yeah. to appease themselves to make themselves feel better? In the ladies' perspective. I reckon it's genuinely to appease the bunda. I don't think girls get that much of a rush out of it, personally. Mm. You're, you know your you're in fashion, so I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. I'll, I'll do to your If I type in male lingerie on Google now, I doubt it's going to be many reputable... I didn't. Shopping I didn't know that industry existed. Um, so my question back to Amrit is: Do you have any male lingerie, and you're going to be wearing it on the podcast? That's that's good. That's a very, that's a Maybe very with your black dashmi on. That's a very. I, I, I would watch that. Yes, I would watch that on TikTok. Right, happily. Maybe the Hawaiian shirt on, then you <coughs> take it off to expose your male lingerie. Male nipplets. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I just made that word up. Bro. What's that thing called? Tassels. Tassels. I don't Nipple know. tassels. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nipplets, there you go. That's, that's a new Look, one. the closest you'll ever see current in male lingerie is wearing my pangra chadr. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like maybe going commando underneath that. That's probably as much as you're gonna get. Okay, right. Go. How are small people created? What? Little people. Each like someone like me? Am I a little person? No, or? as in like what, li midget? little little people. A midget, a dwarf? dwarves. Yeah, I don't think midget is allowed to be said anymore. Okay, so the correct term is dwarf. Because dwarfism I, I, is a. I don't know if dwarf is allowed anymore. Okay. I don't know an answer. Whatever, I whatever the correct term is for somebody considered under average height. Yes. Right. How are they created? Mm. That sounds like it's more like a science biological question, isn't it? I actually, I actually don't know. It's obviously to do Maybe with. Maybe that's the, one for you to look at for the doctor. I'll, I'll look that up and I'll tell you at some point if I remember. It's got to be to do with the genome, isn't it? Um, it's got to be some kind of deformation. Yeah. Uh, no, we call it a mutation. Mutation. Ooh. You think deformity. obviously like X Men. No, deformity. deformity is a bit strong. Mutant. But see, when we say mutation. People think like X-Men and that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, 100%, bro. What we're talking about is at the level of the genes. So gene level mutations or a change in the sequence. In uh, your extra amino acid. Genes. Sorry. Sorry, I've always wanted to just, do that. Just... Thank you. Was <laughs> <laughs> that Amrit's question as well? That was Amrit's question. Bro, here's a fine. Go on. 
Are you sure you want this next one? Bloody karmanan is. Is it possible first. to jerk four people off with two hands? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even conjure that image. Acha, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. That's the extreme. <laughs> <isn't> it, <right>? <laughs> <laughs> my question back is where did this question come from I, i need to understand the origin story of the question bro. i think he's he's definitely what thought of like possible questions you could ask garman in the podcast so you thought that's garman instead because so he thought, sounds he like thought, garman. He thought, i can't get to garman today let me yeah, get it out to garman. i don't know i th- I think all right here's an answer to that question hmm. indy has various experiences on his geography field trips this may have happened there. I want you to ask him about that and maybe he can better answer this what? question. Look, I saw a banda suck his own only. It's, it's fine, man. It just happened, then it, man? It is what it is. It is what it is. Why does these things happen to you? I don't know, man. If people want to know more about that, please drop a no, comment. I'll no, no, no. I will leave know. the podcast. There you go. We talk about that anymore. But uh, That's it. Uh, four, I, I just think about this. Four people with two hands. I mean, uh, no, no. We're, we're not entertaining this Ictor. question. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> we're not talking about this question. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, do you have any experiences with penis problems in A and E? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. So, um, what have I had? Okay, so people putting things up the urethra. So urethra is the hole in which obviously your urine comes out, your semen comes ah, out. Ah, yes, we have covered this before in the pod. Yes. So batteries, batteries is a common one. Urethra, you know. Jeez. Yeah, so that's the correct term. So yeah, battery to enlarge <clears throat> the you know the, the hole to allow one penis to enter another penis. Really? Yeah, people try. Oi, oi. Uh, knitting needles. What? Knitting needle up there. Why would you put a needle? Oh. Bro, um, angry wife who... So you can't actually break someone's penis. So this is a thing that most people don't know. Yeah, of course you can. It's blood. Huh? It's blood, isn't it? What's blood? It's just blood going to like a... It's basically a muscle, isn't it, really? Exactly. So you can, yeah, so you you, can break you, it. You can exactly. tear it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can break it. So we saw somebody with a broken penis uh, from a very angry wife who caught him cheating. Doing thirsty, thirsty things. See, you shouldn't do that. Thirst trapping. Thirst trapping. <laughs> um, she caught him <laughs> in the trap. What else? What else? Yeah, then there was a young boy who basically was uh, just masturbating too much. Huh. And uh, his his mom didn't know what was going on with him. So he just basically had to... It, okay, the reason why this was interesting is because he'd been seen by an Asian consultant. <laughs> Right, initially, before was it, was before he, he saw me. Was, was he Asian? No. So this is a like a young white boy with his mom in the room. Nice. Right? And you've got an Asian consultant who does not want to, who feels awkward oh. and doesn't want to go there with this oh. kind of... So he basically kept giving this guy antibiotics, assuming it's a UTI. And so he kept coming back and the pain was still there. And so... Same doctor again and again. The consultant, just twice. and then So he went back to the same consultant twice. He probably went in there thinking, just my luck. Yeah. Right. And so then I remember seeing him and I was like, okay, it's clearly not that. We've tested your urine. There's no infection in there. Why are you having urine infections? It's very uncommon for a man to have urine infections. Especially because we have long prostates. So yeah. Not long prostate, long urethra. Like young, long urethra. Young, 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 young urethra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's a good learning point, guys. So men getting a UTI, you need to investigate. Women getting UTI is very common because they have a quite short urethra. Mm. That's why for ladies, we give a three-day course of antibiotics. Very common. For a man, you get seven days. You want to make mm, sure you get rid mm. of it. Anyway, so when I saw him, I started chatting to him. I know who I told this to. I was told to Sook, your brother-in-law, mm, the story. Mm. Um, and so when I took a history from him, it was clear actually that that's not the problem. Um, he was just being just way too aggressive uh, down there. And hi, so, hi. So yeah, yeah. So basically we said to him, just, you know, when you're in the shower, clean your business like properly. Yeah. Right? Um, get rid of all the the gun and the shmeg. Oh, the smegma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shmeg. <laughs> and um, that's it. And then he got discharged. I explained it to him. I said, with his permission, I said, do you mind if I explain to your mom what the issue is? Because she was quite worried. You have to keep coming in. Explained it. They never came back. It was all fine. Then that, the learning point from that was, there are certain things which are obviously quite intimate and personal and you need to be, you as a clinician, need to be comfortable enough to go there in the history. Mm. But you need to, they need to feel like they can trust you, that they can tell you yeah. the honest truth. So I hope that answers that question. Yes, I have dealt with I things. think that is a... There you go. There you go. That's the worst of the worst over. No, it was that, that one with the, the two hands, the four hands. I think. <laughs> that's, that's just different, different level, bro. 